Hey Taurus, welcome to your reading for July 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. In the description box, you will also find two links that will um, take you to a website that will allow you to calculate either your Western or your Eastern chart. I did have those links in there um, in the description box in the past, but I took them out because there was a lot of stuff in there that I thought was too much, but I really wanted to put them back. So I have put them back in. I personally resonate more with my Eastern side than my Western a lot of the time. So because of that, I wanted to give you guys the option to calculate the charts yourselves again um, and then see which one resonates best for you. Yeah. Also, keep in mind that these messages are timeless, even though they're coming through for the month of July. It doesn't mean it has to resonate for July. At any moment when you find this reading and it resonates with you at that time, it is the right message for you at that time. Yeah. All right, Taurus. So let's get into your energy here. Um, I was you know, meditating on your energy a little bit um, before I started, and I do have a pre-shuffle here. And uh, as I was meditating on your energy, I was just getting the sense that you just want to be loved um, for who you truly are and not what others have made you out to be in the past, not what you may have had to be in the past, not even in the way you may have portrayed yourself in the past, because I do feel like there is a quite a strong level of maturity that you're reaching here that is fairly new for you. Um, not that it's novel, but it's just new to you. It's another, it's a new level of maturity that you've never really been able to fully anchor and express before. And it, it's a really good thing, um, but with it, I mean, it feels good to be in this level of maturity and awareness, but also it's kind of a double-edged sword because it's like, it's that situation which in which once you wake up, you can never really go back to sleep. Um, and so it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. And I do feel like there's a lot of the past or a lot of people from the past specifically is what I'm feeling that you are leaving behind because of this. Now, when I was, when I was channeling your energy, I often like to envision um, the, well, I do. I visualize the sign that I'm channeling for, like the astrological, like the, the physical symbol um, to help channel the energies. And as I was focusing on your energy, Taurus, a bull came forward and I just, I, all I wanted to do was just like pet its face and like hug it. And it came, it started coming for more forward. And I was just, I was getting this feeling of just, I, I just want to be loved. I just want to be appreciated. I just, you know, <laughs> I want to be told I'm pretty and, 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 and you know, that kind of thing. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting from this pretty handsome, whatever. So getting into the cards for your pre-shuffle here, the very first card that came out is the King of Swords. Now this is officially Aquarian energy, um, or it could be any other air sign, Libra or Gemini. You all, you could have Aquarius or some sort of air sign in your chart, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius or another air sign. But honestly, this is that, that maturity that I was picking up on for you, Taurus. Um, and it's very much, you may have, you may have been in the Queen of Swords energy quite a bit. Um, I just feel like you've come out of a really strong, or you're in the process of coming out of a really, really strong cycle that was very, uh, uh, sure, I'm hearing detrimental, but ultimately it wasn't that detrimental because it helped, it helped push you into this new sense of maturity, okay? And now, with that, um, when it comes to the, the, well, okay, also you have the Nine of Wands here, okay? But um, the, also, and on top of that, you have the Page of Wands, the, not the Page, excuse me, the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands came out first, um, but came out before the Nine of Wands. I feel like, you know, you're in this really diplomatic space where there could be, there could be a good amount of people trying to approach you in this night of wands energy and you're just like so over it you know you're so over the fuckery the the tomfoolery the the wishy-washiness you know saying one thing but meaning another it's just like in this nine of wands energy is just like i just i don't want to deal with any of this so even though and then well and then also <laughs> 
Also underneath the deck is the nine of swords now. So there's anxiety, there's fear. So even though you want to be loved, you're not just gonna allow anyone to just ride into your life willy nilly to just deceive you or betray you again or hurt you again. Um, so that's where the whole double-edged sword of this maturity comes into play because and where all the anxiety is coming from because it's like you know you want to be loved you know you want to be cared for and appreciated for who you truly are you really just i for some of you i feel like you even you're in an energy where you would just you just want to settle down you know um and you're not and so the anxiety comes from the fact that you're not just going to let anybody run, ride into your life all hot and heavy but the anxiety also comes from the fact that you know it feels like it's going to take forever for all of this to actually happen ooh and as i'm saying that though the 6 of wands comes out so it's not going to be forever it's gonna, and then the Ten of Pentacles is underneath the deck. It's not gonna be forever before this happens. You are going to be able to find a solid, stable relationship. It's just gonna take time. That Ten of Pentacles says, don't worry, have faith. Everything is clear. It's just, it's gonna take some time. This is, what you really want, Taurus, is not something, yeah. <laughs> and then the Nine of Pentacles comes out. That what you really want is not something that's gonna happen overnight. Okay, but what you really need to do right now is focus on using this time to love yourself in as many different ways as you possibly can. Appreciate yourself. St focus on your own stability, your own autonomy, standing on your own two feet. Okay, two of pentacles is underneath the deck. Um, keeping the balance, you know, going through, get, getting through the mundane aspects of your life, you know, and, and finding a flow, finding... Um, appreciation for the, the the small the little things about your life spend your instead of focusing on wanting someone else to love you focus instead on what on, on your you loving yourself the way you want to be loved the way you want to be appreciated okay and in time when the time is right someone will come around and be there to mirror that back to you okay all right taurus so let's let's get into the rest of your reading here hi spirit please make me a clear channel for all taurans sun moon rising and venus please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for july 2019 Thank you so much, Spirit. Um, Taurus, it's funny because I have been doing five shuffles for these Zodiac readings this month for all throughout. But for this time, this time I was guided to do three for you. So let's see. <laughs> First one for July 2019 for my Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and three. And you know, it's funny because I was saying how um, I resonate, I tend to resonate more with my Eastern chart than my Western. Boop. Um, but in Western astrology, I, my sun sign is Taurus, and I totally resonate with that, with what we were just talking about. <laughs> Mm. All right. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. First, ha, overall, <laughs> overall energy. First, very first card is the Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. um, look, Taurus, I really think you're overthinking a lot right now. Um, you're working yourself up in ways that you really don't need to. It's really not necessary um, to stress out so much about these things. I, I, I do feel like you're, you're probably going through a bit of a purge right now, um, which is allowing you to clear space and heal so that you can allow more love into your life. But 
doing this, this is unnecessary. Eight of Swords. This is you really just overthinking right now. And 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 also overthinking in terms of like not letting someone come in who's hot, heavy, and passionate. Like I understand the Knight of Wands energy is isn't ideal a lot of the time. Um, it's usually like the type of energy of like a one night stand or someone that comes in and like and, and like love bombs you until they get what they want from you and then they ghost you. And I understand in this energy that you're in right now, Taurus, this maturity that you found, you don't want anything like that. But it, it, but just because somebody there's a there's a strong sense of passion very early in the relationship or in the game. Um, it doesn't mean that everything's gonna go south eventually. It depends on how both parties interact throughout the course of the relationship. So instead of assuming that everything's just gonna go to shit and working yourself up into a frenzy or putting your, getting yourself worked up into this like mental cage about whether or not you even wanna engage, just go with the flow. Yes, which is easier said than done for a Taurus. Taurus, yes, you are a fixed sign, but you got to be able to just go with the flow or you're never going to get anywhere, right? Page of Cups. There's that dreamer energy. This is that energy. It's funny because my good friend Betsy of Fearless Intuition, she often says that she sees the Page of Cups as wanting more. Um, and that's really what I'm seeing. I never really interpret it that way, but that's literally the first thing I thought of when I saw this just now, wanting more, okay? And um, also with the Eight of Swords, almost like feeling like you can't have it, which is so not true. Oh shit, and there's that Nine of Swords again, told you. And ooh, look though, the Knight of Cups. But this is also the energy, the Knight of Cups is the energy of loving yourself. Um, you know, the Knight of Cups can sometimes be a little bit of a selfish individual. Um, some, you know, in a lot, of, and it could even be the Knight of Cups is someone that's just in something for their own emotional gain and not really anyone else's. But it doesn't have to be that way. And so I'm really feeling like you should, you, you know, also, also, wait, also, there could be somebody coming towards you. There could be somebody in your life that really does actually want to, you know, show you some love but don't stress yourself out about it if it happens it happens if not okay this is why you really need to be focusing on, on loving yourself instead of requiring someone else to just to be happy because you're really only setting yourself up for failure in when you're when you're putting your happiness in others right all right, Taurus. So getting into the rest of your reading here, first half, second half of the reading, you could look at this as first half, second half of your month. I recommend that you look at it as first half, second half of the reading because energies are fluid. Time is an illusion. So things are just can be flowing into in, in any, in any which way. But if it resonates with you as first half, second half of your month, then go with it. Yeah. First set of surround, first set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading, Taurus, you have excellent strength. This is Leo energy. You could be dealing with a Leo. You also could have Leo in your chart. Um, but this is the strength to stay strong and, and to believe in yourself and to keep keep your head up and um, persevere almost, especially with the nine of wands energy that came out in the pre-shuffle. Okay, but this is definitely the energy of taming the beast within, all right? Um, and using that energy of your inner beast to your advantage, not to your favor, not against you. Yeah, this is very similar, even though this is a lion in this card, this is very similar to what I was seeing when I was channeling your energy before I started the reading, where I, like, I saw a bull come forward and I just wanted to like pet its face. Um, obviously, she's kind of like taming the beast here, but it's still a very similar energy. The strength card is coupled with, ah, oh, excellent, the sun, more Leo energy, which is crazy. But I mean, this is beautiful. 
the the more you focus and the message i'm getting here taurus is the more that you focus on um building your own inner strength fortifying yourself um loving yourself fully completely for everything that you are things will continue to get brighter and brighter and brighter and actually your light your own personal light will shine brighter and brighter and of course that's going to attract the ideal mate to you but i i i hesitantly say that because i don't want you to get to get caught up on the expectation i don't want you to be focusing on loving yourself and expanding your light just for the sole purpose of bringing a partner into your life no do it because you deserve to shine at your brightest okay this, there's such a i really i really want to drive home the message of continue to focus on loving yourself or love yourself as fully as you can put all of your focus on that what and that includes um, your passions, your desires, your projects, your creative adventures, maybe even your family, your friends, whatever, whatever that brings joy into your life, focus on that and just allow the universe to line everything up for you, okay? Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Taurus, you have the Six of Swords. Yes, some of you really are going through a purge, but even if you're not going through a purge, there is a transition that's happening here. You're moving from some pretty rough shit, okay? And um, that could be, the purge would come through in some memories having coming up as you, that need to be cleared in order for you to clear space for more of what you truly deserve or what more of what you're aligning with to come through into your life. But this transition that you're making is is fueled but is is fueled by but is also influencing you to love yourself more to build your own inner strength to build your own self-belief it's an interesting thing it's as it's like it's very much like um uh, the serpent that you know is devouring itself it's i mean your your this transition is fueling your um uh, your efforts towards loving yourself, but also the efforts you make towards loving yourself is also continue is also fueling your your movement, your transition. I hope that came out. I hope you understand what I'm saying there. <laughs> that got a little convoluted. Six of Swords is coupled with ah. I told you the Three of Swords. You are moving away from some serious, serious heartbreaking shit. This could be a romantic relationship, a partnership. Um, family situations, friend situations, uh, career, whatever, whatever is, has been really heartbreaking for you. I want to say over the past six months, and it really could have extended past those six months, but, oh, okay, well, let's say, let's say the past six to nine months, um, has really been about you leaving the past behind you. I do feel like lately... It has come to a head in which there are some things that have been coming up from this. I mean, and I'm resonating with this as well. There have been things that have been coming up in this situation uh, or surrounding this situation that were really deeply were um, buried really deep down. And you may have completely forgotten about these instances and you don't even know why they're coming up now. Well, they're coming up now so that you can clear them, release them, heal from it because... Um, they were just buried down there and, you know, you got to heal from it now in order to release it so you continue to, can you, you can continue to move forward. Yes? Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Taurus. Ah, looky here. I told you that Queen of Swords was around. Um, <laughs> so the challenge is to not slip into the Queen of Swords energy again because you have found... You have found the maturity of the King of Swords, all right? And in this, and sometimes the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords can be really difficult individuals to deal with. In this situation, the Queen of Swords is the most difficult because she's the one that's just going to lash out willy-nilly, kind of, at the drop of a hat. The King of Swords is the energy in which he's keeping... You know, he's keeping things in check. He's trying to be as diplomatic as possible. Um, but he's also not afraid to cut a bitch, <laughs> you know? So, okay, that still exists. But 
The challenge here is to not give in to the Queen of Swords energy and just start cutting things up and cutting people up willy nilly. Like try not to be the bull in a china closet. <laughs> china cabinet, whatever, I don't know, whatever. The Queen of Swords is coupled with, ah, the High Priestess. Wow, wowie wow wow. Now, the Queen of Swords is still present because with this High Priestess energy here, there's a lot, okay. With this High Priestess, this is in fact speaking to all of the things that are coming up in the pa from the past that you, I just heard for some of you, you weren't aware of these things that were affecting you. So what you're, what's happening here is you, these, some of these things are coming up from the past and you're kind of starting to see them differently, which is allowing you to do some deeper healing, which that's the, the, that's the energy of the high priestess of, of helping to reveal some things to you that you weren't previously aware of. The queen of swords is actually helping in this sense in giving you the energy to make certain cuts that need to be made. So on the surface, you're very much the king of swords, but in, on the internal reality, in your internal reality, you're very much the queen of swords, which is actually, it feels good because this is just making the necessary cuts without having to have an argument or a discussion about it, okay? Because in this sense, coupled or tempered by the energies of the high priestess here, the queen of swords is actually making some precise surgical cuts that are very much to your highest benefit. So it really kind of feels like you don't want to leave any sort of space to discuss it because then some things could end up being kept when you really don't need to keep that any longer. Like, don't even, yes, don't even give yourself the opportunity to, 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 to discuss it or to hash it out or to weigh it out. No, if it doesn't feel right or if you're starting to see something differently and you can make the, the cut, make the cut and just clear it out of your system so that you can move forward, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Taurus, you have the Page of Pentacles. I like this. I like this. The Page of Pentacles for me is a new start, is a level up. Um, I'm definitely seeing a brand new start here for you. And yes, you are having to find some footing here. Yes, you have to crawl before you can walk, but I don't even feel like you're crawling. I feel like you are, you're so solid that in this new level that you're moving up to, you're actually kind of walking from the get-go. It's just that your your steps are a little shaky, your balance might be a little ooh, a little off, you might have a little bit of vertigo because you just came through this intense portal, but you're still kind of slightly trying to find your orientation, but you have a new level here. This is a step up, okay? Page of Pentacles is coupled with, oh shit, there's that King of Swords again. So as, yes, Absolutely, 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 absolutely. On the internal energies, or in the internal, you are very much the queen of swords tempered by the high priestess, okay? In the external, in this new level, and now you could, you could be dealing with a Libra, that is Libra energy with the queen of swords, the, and the, the high priestess is, Pi, is some sort of, is a bit of Pisces energy. You could be dealing with either of those. Um, but then, on, sorry, I totally got sidetracked. But then on the external, right, in the internal, you're the queen of swords tempered by the high priestess. The external energy, you are the page of pentacles, which is this individual that is, I just heard taking a leap of faith. So maybe you're taking a leap of faith or you have taken a leap of faith that has gotten you to this new level and you're trying to find your footing tempered by the king of swords which is an excellent, excellent place to be in because the King of Swords is that diplomatic energy that's going to look at the external at, with, with, with um, complete objectivity or as much objectivity as he can, right? And make a decision from there. A, um, and this is not judgment, this is discernment. There's a difference, okay? We're not trying to judge, 
you have no intentions of judging anybody. You've been through enough in your life where you're at the point now where it's like, look, let bygones be bygones. Let people be who they are. I just know what it, what resonates best for me and what doesn't, right? So from that point of view, you're being quite very, very discerning and probably pretty protective of yourself because you have reached this new level that you don't want and you, you just might need a little extra protection, which is good. It's really good, Taurus, okay? <laughs> All right, getting into the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies. You've got, oh, well, there's that Knight of Wands again. But I kind of feel like this is you a little bit. You might, mm, yeah, you might be feeling a little hasty. There might be a bit of restlessness now. Um, just wanting to move forward quickly and just get to it already. But that, it's weird because that, that's not typically Taurus energy. Um, at least not how I understand it. Maybe some of you have recently come into some light working work or you become conscious of the fact that you have some sort of light mission or you've connected with your inner soul purpose and now that's driving you forward. But I do feel a little bit of haste, a little bit of restlessness in wanting to just get something going or get something done or maybe even get just get something started. But be patient. Be patient with yourself. Knight of Wands is coupled with the Six of Cups. Okay, so maybe, maybe this restlessness is someone else. Maybe this, maybe this isn't your energy, which would make a lot more sense. Uh, this might be someone around you, a soulmate. I'm hearing a twin flame, maybe. Okay, take that as it resonates. Um, but there may be someone really from your past who is really passionately ready to just charge in or maybe just wants to charge in. And you might be feeling this energy, Taurus, which could be why, why you are um, in such an anxious place. Also, I want to say that the Page of Cups here that came out in your overall energy could be a reconciliatory, reconciliatory energy. Um, so there may be someone around you from your past that may want to make amends with you or you may want to make amends with them and thus this could be another reason why you are in this mental prison and feeling all anxious as fuck <laughs> okay um either you want to make some sort of of apology or rectify things somehow and you don't know how to do it you don't even know if it's possible if you could do it and that's got you stressed out because it feels like an unresolved situation, or this is the other person, or this is both of you. All right. Uh, second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Taurus, you have... Ah, and there's that Nine of Pentacles again. But see, you're good on your own. And if you don't really feel that solid right now in that energy, then that's what you should be focusing on. That's what you should be working on, okay? Being solid and good on your own. But I feel like for the most part, a lot of you already are, which only makes you that much more attractive, to be quite honest. Just saying. But okay, Nine of Pentacles is coupled with, oof, the Five of Cups, though. I really do feel like Throughout this heartbreak that you're dealing with here, um, you've really been able to become very solid and independent. Okay? But you're still, you're still kind of focused on the three cups that have spilled here. Instead of recognizing that you have two cups behind you. Not all is lost. But at the same time, take your time to really go purge and go through these emotions. All right? I just... I don't feel like you're you're wallowing in self-pity. I just feel like there are still some things that you have to process and that's what you're doing. And you need to do it on your own. You are doing it on your own. No one else can really help you with this. You have to bear you have to bear this burden on your own so that you can heal it 
and remain strong and, and fortify your own inner strength and belief in yourself. But ultimately, everything is going to be okay. All right. Things are going to be uh, are going to turn out much better than you expected. So maybe maybe after you go through a significant period of really purging and healing and looking at all uh, all ends of the situation to see things from a different point of view, to see things in ways that you may not have seen them in the past, you will either be able to attract a new individual or a new love into your life that really is way more resonant with you or maybe you could actually rectify or, or reconcile with this person that maybe you have on your mind or you feel like there's some sort of unfinished business with anything is possible but again don't get caught up in expectation of one thing happening over another just focus on loving yourself fortifying yourself building your strength and purging and healing Okay. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Taurus, you have, okay, the page of wands. Um, very interesting. There are a lot of pages here. So it's almost as if there's a lot of reset happening. To me, the page of wands is a card of self-discovery, reigniting your passions for yourself, for life, um, a brand new creative project. But lately, the Page of Wands has really been speaking to self-discovery. Also, I just heard, and I wanted to say, uh, self-mastery. So there is a bit of a sense of self-mastery here. Um, it's as if you're, you're going back over the things or the elements of yourself that you already were aware of and redefining them, polishing them, maybe dusting them off, maybe tweaking them a little bit. Refinement. Yes, absolutely. Page of Wands is coupled with... Oh, the Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy. Unconditional love, though. Compassion, empathy, intuition. And I really feel like this is absolutely... Whatever you're purging, Taurus, all of the things that are coming up for you right now is helping you... I am absolutely resonating with this reading right now. Is helping you love yourself more. So you are needing to look at things in a different way, see things differently, see things from a different point of view, but that was that's only going to help you appreciate yourself more because when you do see things differently, you uncover different aspects or different elements of yourself that you may not have been aware of, that may have been hidden, um, that you probably were in fact trying to hide from yourself for whatever reason, but when they're uncovered or when you understand them differently, you can understand yourself differently and then you can hold more compassion and empathy, not only just for you, but ultimately for everyone around you. Because when you start to understand yourself better, then you can understand others better. It's a very much a domino effect. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Taurus, you have the Eight of Pentacles. I love that. This is you doing the physical work to better yourself, whatever that means. I am seeing that some of you are actually working on physically re-sculpting your body. So going to the gym, working out, changing your diet, uh, maybe even changing your look. But this is all in an effort of self-love, of loving yourself, appreciating yourself, and doing what you feel is right for you. But not only is this the physical work, this is also the internal emotional work. And yes, it absolutely can come out as the eight of pentacles, pentacles being a physical representation, pentacles representing kind of like the earth sign. But the work you do internally is going to have a direct response or a direct effect on your external. Okay? So it's in essence you are doing this internal work to change your external reality. And that's a very, very, very good thing. And actually, Taurus, I wanna say, I wanna commend you because what I feel for your energy right now, and the way that you're approaching this is extremely mature. Like, <laughs> damn, Taurus. <laughs> oh, goodness. I almost want to tell you to be caution to be cautious to not lose sense of your inner child with all of this maturity that's floating around you right now but excellent your oh I'm sorry the 8 of pentacles is coupled with good 
Good golly, Taurus. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. You really, I mean, damn. Somebody grew the fuck up. Because, because your view, especially with this King of Swords here, and the, uh, and we'll take the Page of Pentacles too. The King of Swords and the Page of Pentacles was the closing is the closing message potential outcome for the first half of your reading. The Eight of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles is the closing message um, potential outcome for the second half of your reading. So, especially with this new level that you've reached, with this mature level and diplomatic mindset that you are cultivating. Some of you are actively holding it. Others of you are cultivating it. You are, in fact, doing business or, yes, doing business, or doing work in terms of getting to the long term. You remember that Ten of Pentacles came out in the, free st in the, in the pre shuffle. And it came out right after the Six of Wands as clarification to the fact that you are going to be successful. You are going to find the love that you desire, or I should say it this way, the love that you desire is in fact going to find you, but it's going to take time. Ten of Pentacles. And it's going to take work. But that work is you working on finding that love for yourself that you wish to come from something in the external within yourself. You have to find it in yourself first and express it, believe it, love yourself the way you love yourself, Knight of Cups, love yourself the way you deserve and desire to be loved by someone else first before that can manifest in your external. Why? Because our external reality is a direct reflection of our internal reality. Okay? Good on you, Taurus. All right. Oh, geez. I just, just spilled coffee all over the place. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Give me a second. I got to clean up the coffee. I just spilled. <laughs> and then we're going to get into the um, your oracle card. Here, let's just... Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. I'm destroying everything. Okay. Let's just do that and do a little bit of that. Sorry, guys. I'm to oh, my God. Oh, my God. I totally just spilled my coffee. Okay. Anyway. That's enough for now. Let's get into your <laughs> oracle guidance for the month to close out this reading for you, Taurus. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of July, 2019. All right, Taurus, let's see what we've got for you. Closing message, please, spirit, for July, 2019. Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, there it is. Interesting. Wow. This is an interesting message. And I actually, this is the first time I've gotten this message so far. This is card number 44. Visions of life beyond death. It's a beautiful card. Okay, here we go. Sacred vision is awakening within you. You are becoming blessed with the ability to truly see, to see what is real rather than what appears to be. This is true insight. What was once considered consequential may soon be found to hold little consequence after all. What was once dismissed as, uh, dismissed as an irritation or irrelevance may seem to have great spiritual significance. As mundane as something once appeared, it could now be worthy of absolute attention. The gift of genuine vision takes you into the being of the universal creator. This is sacred terrain beyond logic, convention, and that which is limited in any way. The more open you are to receiving true vision, the more love you will feel and recognize within and around you. Something may appear to change form, to be shed, to be lost, or to die, but there is love within it always. This realization doesn't remove the pain of the loss. It does provide a way through which it can be healed and eventually transformed into peace. 
The vision of love, the truth of all that is, can move us more than anything else possibly can. If you have been wondering about your life path or whether you should take action on a project or you need inspiration to really move you out of a slump you have fallen into, then this oracle brings you a message of hope. You will receive your vision. You will be graced with a way out of the stagnancy. You will be able to see things differently and more accurately. Any confusion or uncertainty you have felt is going to pass and you will be left with clear insight. The stories you have been feeling, feeding yourself, and telling yourself may end up looking different to how they appear now. This may surprise you, but the vision that is coming to you will be more truthful and therefore freeing. It will be worth the shock, surprise, or the moment of embarrassment when you realize you have been operating under a false assurance or deluding yourself about the truth of a situation. Those moments will pass, and they are not something to feel bad about. They signify that you are leaving behind a smaller view for a more expansive one. They are a sign that you have outgrown your old vision in order to live in a bigger one. This is good. There might be a moment when your ego feels a bit dented, but sure enough, that too will pass. This oracle comes with additional guidance for you. You are being watched over by life and held in protection. Whatever has been bothering you will not be able to harm you. You will prevail. If you are concerned that someone is getting away with something or blocking your path and it seems there is nothing you can do about it, don't worry. The all-seeing eye of life perceives everything without exception. It is the universal mother with eyes not only in the back of her head, but in every... <laughs> That's awesome. Let me say that again. It is the universal mother with eyes not only in the back of her head, but in every living cell of life. She misses nothing, and the truth of her vision will always be met with justice, mercy, and wisdom. This oracle is also asking you to shift your perspective and look at an issue of concern a little differently. If you don't know how to do this, simply add the following statement to the end of the healing process below, which we're not going to get into. Um, but you can say this, I call upon the universal eye to show me the most helpful way to see this situation of concern now. I'll say that one more time. I call upon the universal eye to show me the most helpful way to see this situation of concern now. In shifting how you look at things, the energy in what is being held changes. You can see this with people. When you shame and judge someone, they react differently to when they are loved and encouraged. They may succeed nonetheless, but the journey to that success will be different. Looking at something through the eyes of love rather than fear can help us find our way more quickly, easily, and enjoyably. This oracle comes with the additional message that your ability to perceive is expanding into truth. Your ability to be inspired and see the light in all things is unfolding. It must be nourished in your heart with loving acceptance because you are going to help others through your vision, your art, and how you choose to be in the world. The healing process below will help you accept and anchor this developing gift. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up here. And you, if you want to um, if you want to work with the healing process here, pause and go through that. Yeah? Okay, but there you have it, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. With that, I hope you have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of August. Yeah, take care. Bye.